Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel for another video. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you a Scentsy haul with one really, really exciting item, and it is the Sense of the Season Wax Bundle. So we, as consultants, were able to purchase it an entire month early. So mine just arrived, and I was waiting for it to come in to film this entire haul. It's not a large haul by any means, that's why I was waiting for the Sense of the Season bundle to make it be able to be like an entire video on its own. Um, I've just ordered a few kind of random things over the past few weeks um, that have just slowly been trickling in and I wanted to just put it all together in one video. So really excited about the Sense of the Season collection. I have not smelled any of them except for the two that were out last year. And I've noticed that Sensi tends to do that with the Sense of the Season collection or at least from my experience um, or exposure to Sensi, that's what they do. They do like one to two bars that they've done in previous years, bring them back. They're like the classic favorites and they still do three, three new ones. So I have not smelled these. They got here a few nights ago and my boyfriend smelled them and I just sat there calmly, didn't smell them, didn't, didn't even like try to smell them. I was like, you know what? I wanna wait, I wanna do it in a video. But there was one um, his reaction to fireside chats. I'm super excited to smell that one. He was like, oh my gosh, this is amazing. So really excited about that. But first things first, I also have the Disney Villains wax bar to smell, which I have not smelled yet. I did also get the warmer, which I'm super excited about. Do I need two Disney Villain warmers? No. Honestly, I think this one is way cooler than the first Disney Villains warmer. So I'm really excited to set this up. It has kind of a mosaic um, stained glass type of look. So Dark and Devious is the Villains wax scent, the new Villains wax scent. Um, it is brooding black pepper, star anise, and cinnamon stir up a plot with smoked absinthe and ancient hemlock for the ultimate revenge. Whoa, it sounds like a little bit of too much of everything. <laughs> so let's, let's see. I'm a little bit nervous. Yeah, I don't love that. The old Disney villains, which they did re-release, re the old Disney villains wax collection, the three pack, um, they did re-release re it. Sorry, stumbling over my words a little bit. Um, I am a fan of the Just One Bite scent. I like the Maleficent one and the Poor Unfortunate Souls Ursula one is just okay. But I was really curious to try this new one. I just don't think, I don't think it's my thing. Um, oh, there's something like really food-ish about it. Like it smells like something I've used to cook with, which kind of is giving me a little bit of Amber Hollow vibes. I have not watched anyone's thoughts on this. I haven't caught up on YouTube yet since I've been back from vacation. I have so many videos that are just piling up in my watch later. Yeah, no, it's a no for me. I'll warm it because I want to try it and I have it, but no. Not very good. <laughs> so there's my rave review about Dark and Devious. That is just stunning. It's way cooler <laughs> than I thought it was. I always feel like that with Scentsy stuff. I'm like, oh, that's super awesome. And then I actually get it and I'm like, wow, that's amazing. Yeah, so kind of like stained glass windows behind. It's very vibrant in color. And this is what the dish looks like. It is this really interesting shaped dish um, that just sits right on top of here like that. I will say too, this is a lampshade warmer, which essentially what that means is there's a base. Here's the base spooky design as well. So a base that the warmer, try not, to, try not to break anything, the warmer sits on like that. And then it's all set up. Super cool, super interesting design. Had to get it. Again, I think that if I would have had a choice between this one and the old Disney Villains warmer, definitely would have picked this one up. Probably don't need both, but I really like this one. I think it's super interesting and unique. I also ordered two bricks and I, it is on my list of to do to film a what I've been warming slash warm brick reviews. I have warmed all of them and this is kind of a spoiler for which two are my favorite. So vanilla cinnamon maple came up and is my one of my top two and then the other one is fluffy fleece. This one is just so unique. 
like I haven't really ever smelled anything like it and I think that's why I love it so much there's a thread attached to that so fluffy fleece yes love vanilla cinnamon maple I am shocked by how much I love it again in a what I've been warming video I'll go a little bit more in depth on um, performance and like more detailed reviews of the bricks but they are still available if you are afraid of an entire brick add it to your Scentsy Club and it will come in a regular bar form so there we go all right now on to the sense of the season see I told you it wasn't a very long video so it would have been would have been really short if I didn't have the sense of the season so oh my gosh it comes in this little box so last year they came in a red bag a red like felt bag I think I believe so and this is what they come in this year it looks like a little package says Scentsy on it or a little like present so let's just let's just jump right in in no particular order um I'm gonna do Bayberry and Current first. This is a new one. I guess I'll do the older ones later, the ones that have been around before. Has the new packaging. And the notes on this are a wreath of peppery bayberry and fresh juniper, juniper adorned with bright current. Oh yeah, oh my gosh. whoa I like that okay that's interesting it's it's a lot it's a lot going on it's different than I thought it was going to be too I thought there was going to be more current it was going to be more fruity it's actually really fresh fresh woodsy with a little bit of current oh my gosh I feel like what I'm getting the most of is juniper I think then that peppery bayberry then the bright current at the very end just adding a little bit of pop but like this in the bedroom or bathroom during this time of year that's what I would do with this it's so fresh it's a very very fresh scent I really like that one next up is spiced apple chestnut excited about this one again has the new packaging and the notes are apple and maple wood simmer in a festive spiced rum. Okay, I get apple. I feel like I just got like maple, like artificial maple. So the apple in this is also reminding me a little bit of the apple and apple s'mores. And it's a little kind of like smoky, spicy, kind of like that. I'm not getting rum. I'm getting mainly apple. And then, like I said, it's almost like I could smell artificial maple, like from maple syrup. Yeah, kind of, you know, like what your face, if you get, you know how syrup, maple syrup is very sticky. You get it on your fingers and then you wash your hands, but... It's almost like there's a little bit of a residue on your fingers. It's like, I can smell that. It's interesting. I thought this one was going to be my favorite and it, it isn't, I don't think. Um, so just different. And then we'll do a fireside chats, which is one that I'm very excited about. Again, new packaging on that. The notes on this are shaved nutmeg and blood orange warmed by cinnamon and smoldering embers. Ooh, that is smoky. Okay, I thought it was gonna be like cozy fireside. It was way smokier, way less ginger. Cozy fireside is an old scent. They didn't bring it back this year, but it had a lot of ginger in it. That is smoky. Okay, so this would be a scent that I would have to warm like one cube of in one warmer and then that was it. Like I wouldn't be able to fill my fill my house with this, I don't think. I do get cinnamon, but I get a lot of smokiness. Don't get a ton of blood orange, maybe a little bit in the background that's just making this a little bit brighter, helping it slightly be brighter. Yeah, interesting. Oh, actually, I feel like I got a little bit of the orange there. 
it's very smoky. Curious to hear your guys' thoughts on that one. And then we have Wassel Wonderland. This one is again in the new packaging. This one was available last year. It's kind of a, it, I always want to say Wassail. I might have even said Wassail, but it's Wassel, apparently. That's what I learned last year. Um, it is kind of a classic now, I feel like, for Holiday Sensi. It's orange zest, lemon peel, and cinnamon stick over fresh fur needles. So this is very citrusy, and I do get the fur needle. I almost get a little bit of like a pineapple note, and I know that's weird. Maybe it's back in there in the very background. But it's very, very citrusy. Citrus heavy. Like citrus heavy, and then there's a little bit of spice, a little bit of like fur needle in the background. But it's not bad. Not bad at all. My boyfriend really likes this one. So we have a few, we actually have a few bars left over from last year um, that we'll get through first. But I don't know if it would ever be one that I would put in my club personally, just because I don't love it. But he might, he might feel otherwise and make me put it in my club for before it goes away. Um, and then cookies for Santa. And this one would not have been my choice for one to bring back from last year. But the notes on this are treat the man in the red suit to baked sugar cookie topped with brown sugar and a sip of milk. Um, again, like a lot of other buttery, creamy kind of scents, you guys know that I don't love those scents because a lot of times I get a little bit of a buttered popcorn scent from it. And unfortunately, that's what I get from this. It's slightly better when it's warming. Oh, sweet condensed milk poured over buttered popcorn. Not what I want my house to smell like. I liked this a lot mixed with gingerbread hugs from last year, um, just because it helped that one be less over the top spice heavy and this one be less milky, buttery, buttered popcorn kind of scent. So that's cookies for Santa. But those are the five scents that are coming out in Scents of the Season. And real quick, let me give you guys the details on them. Okay, so now for purchasing details. Like I said, us consultants were able to buy them early so we can make samples, send them out to customers. These will be available for purchase while supplies last. It is limited edition on November 15th. And it'll be, um, as with most launches are, sometime between 9.30 and 10.30 a.m. Pacific Standard Time usually like right around 10 a.m. So I get online around like 9.55, 9.56 is usually when the queue starts. Um, and it will be available in a bundle for $25. It'll come just, you know, like I showed you in the little, let me see if I can put it together. They're all laying outside of the box, but it'll come in this little box for $25. You have a friend that loves Scentsy, perfect gift. You don't even have to wrap it. It's ready to go. Um, or you can purchase them individually for $6 each. So like a normal, normal, um, normal bar, you can also bundle and save them. So if you don't really care about getting the box, you could bundle and save and then you won't, you could get six of the bars. So get an additional one of one of them or get a, another random bar. Um, and then you don't have to waste the box or anything. Um, other thing to note that I wanted to say is that this sense of the season collection last year I believe did sell out didn't sell out like instantly but it did sell out eventually so I would I would guess that this one will as well so if you are interested go ahead and jump online right um, when they release on November 15th and as always with limited edition offers or limited time offers like this you can put them in your Sensi club and they'll be made for you forever as long as you keep them in your Sensi club so that is everything for this Scentsy haul. We've got lots, lots that we talked about. Disney Villains, which is still available. We have the Bricks, they are still available. And then we have Sense of the Season, which is coming up here actually in just like a week, two weeks. Um, so that is everything for this video. I hope you enjoyed. Have you smelled the new Sense of the Season? What are your thoughts? Like, just tell me down below in the comments, what do you think specifically of Fireside Chats? It's very smoky. Um, if you smell the Disney Villains bar, do you like that? Which one was your favorite brick? Um, or which one is maybe your top two if you can't pick a favorite like me? But I appreciate you guys watching. Thanks so much. Um, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye, everybody.